Drew, based on the looks of your Nissan GTR, you might have the coolest car in baseball. <laughs> I don't know, I've seen some pretty cool ones out there, but uh, yeah, I, I'm a big fan. That's my baby right there. And what is it about the detailing, you know? Like, you're obviously all black, blacked out, but yeah. like the detailing is so important in making that look so cool. Yeah, there's just little things like, uh, you know, it's half matte black and half gloss, and so there's a pin, little blue pinstripe to separate it, and then, uh, you know, there's some little blue accents here and there that, uh, you know, for me, there's some little details that really make a, a special car. Um, you know, when you take care of those little things, that really adds up to a lot. And it was pretty big, I think, in 2010 about. That's when everybody kind of came out with, like, all the articles and yeah. all the pictures and stuff. So what was that kind of like, getting all that attention just for that car, you know? Oh, it's cool. You know, uh, like I said, that was my, that's been my baby, my project. You know, if I, I told myself I made it to the big leagues, I was going to get that, buy that car. And, uh, you know, I put a lot of work into it. And, uh, you know, like I said, sweat over the details of that <laughs> thing. Yeah, but it, it's, a, it's a beautiful ride, and I try to take care of it as well as I can. Now, would you say that there's a lot of car guys in baseball? Because obviously there's so many that have big car collections, like the Justin Verlanders, but would you say that uh, that's a pretty safe statement? Oh yeah, no doubt. I mean, a lot of guys have really cool cars, and uh, like I said, there's some that are even cooler than mine. So, uh, you know, it's, it's always neat, especially going on the road, and you get to see some of the other guys' rides and see, see what they're rolling around, and it's, uh, it's pretty cool, man. What was one of the best cars that you saw in person that you maybe saw in the parking garage and you're just like, oh man, like who's, whose car is that? Yeah, yeah, Worth has some pretty cool ones. Uh, he's got uh, like three or four Porsches. He's got a GT3 uh, and then he's got, I think he's got a, a, a Carrera GT, which is, I mean, pretty impressive. Go big or go yeah, home. Yeah, yeah, he's <laughs> definitely not going home. Uh, so it's, it's pretty impressive, man. And, and it, like I said, it's cool to see that up close. It's, you know, it's stuff that you only see in DuPont Registry usually. Hey. You know, to see that in person is pretty cool. I I have a few cars for you to look at. I did this with CJ Wilson the other day, so we'll start off with this car, but his McLaren P1. What do you think about that? That is awesome. Pretty crazy paint job. That is, that's cool. The iridescent paint job, that's, McLarens are beautiful, and those those doors are, that's next level. That's, that's, that's pretty unbelievable. Yeah, I don't think a, uh, filling a, filling a car at the gas station could look any cooler than that. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's about as good as it gets right there. That's, that's very strong. I like the iridescent paint job though, too. It's all about being different, you know? All right, so some other different cars. We have a uh, Rosny Castillo's Porsche. Ooh, that's cool. All I right. like white, man. I'm a big fan of white. Um, I like, you know, you got the red accent on there. That's that's pretty good. What do, you, what do you think about these rims? I like them. I right. like them, man. They're different. You know, like I said, it's all about having a little your own little flair on stuff, and uh, those are cool. He actually does have definitely has his own little flair on these because, as you can see on the grill, he's got his number oh, 38. Nice. That would, that look good. I don't, I'm afraid I'd hit one of those parking things. You know, when the parking stops with it, and that'd be tough. And be number three. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and he also has a fluorescent light that comes out of the car that wow. shines on the floor, number 38. That's pretty cool. That huh? might be the most detailed. That's pretty serious right there. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's hopefully uh, the next person that buys it uh, is number 38 or likes 38, <laughs> right? All right, Araldo Chapman, another closer in the league. He's got his Lamborghini. Yep. Right here, you can see he's got the subwoofers in the back and his license plate. Oh yeah, 105 miles per hour. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know I actually saw him leaving when we were, we were just in Cincinnati a couple weeks ago, so I got to hear that that thing roar by. It, it's pretty cool. If I threw 105, I'd probably do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. This is Carlos Santana's Escalade. Oh cool. 26 inch rims. Those are serious. Now, would you ever do 26 inch rims? Because that's that's uh, that's no joke. You know, I think being in D.C., I mean, New York kind of similar too, you can't really drive around with that because uh, that wouldn't last very long because the, the, all the potholes, man, I, I feel like those those would turn into, yeah, that, that would be, those would be squared off pretty quickly, I think. Those are those are pretty big. You need, I have a truck that I drive day, every day in D.C. that that way I can just blow through the potholes and not have to worry about it. That's pretty smart. Yeah. That's actually, I guess, one thing that player, baseball players have to think about when purchasing cars, especially yeah. if you're in the city. I don't, I don't bring my GTR to this to DC anymore because it's tough to drive, yeah. and I could lose a bumper if I'm not paying attention. So <laughs> I drive my truck. <laughs> All right, who else we got? All right, this is Al, actually Alcides Escobar's Ooh, Range I've Rover with this. gold chrome. Yeah, this got a lot of attention. Yeah, it did. Training. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I, I like the wraps, all the chrome wraps that you're seeing now. It's it's kind of a new thing, and gold's not my thing. But if you like gold, I think that's cool. I mean, I like the chrome wraps. I think those are that's you know that's really cool. I the thing I do like, I like the all blackout wheels though. Like you got like you got some flair, and then you just black out the wheels with it. So I, I think that's pretty. Sick. And he's got the blackout grills, which is cool. Yeah. So gold chrome isn't your thing, but what about Alfredo Simon's silver chrome? That's cool. Mercedes. That's cool. I mean, 
It's like a mirror. Yeah, it is. A driving it, mirror. A really I, expensive one, though. <laughs> right, yeah. And, you know, the only thing with that is it's keeping it clean, man. <laughs> like, I know with the matte paint job, it's not easy. I can't imagine that. I think I'd have to have a bottle of Windex on me at all times I, to, in order to drive that. And keep it in the garage and not under trees. Yeah, I probably wouldn't even be driving it. <laughs> All right, and Justin Verlander, he's got a really big car collection, but yeah. this Lamborghini is amazing. Yeah, those are cool, man. I mean, anytime, anytime a Lambo's involved, it's tough not to compliment it, but that's, uh, I like orange, man. I like the bright colors, especially with that. I mean, can't knock a Lambo no, <laughs> no matter how you cut it, man. That's, that's really cool. And then this is Yasiel Puig's Range Rover. He's got the red interior Ooh, and cool. black. Which I looks like really it. nice. Yeah, I like. I love any sort of interior, like you know the accent and stuff like that. Like I said, anytime you do a white, black, and red combo, like that's that's tough to beat, man. That's just a classic, cool look, and I mean it's a Range Rover, man. They, you know, it's strong. <laughs> they come nice as it is. You yeah, know? exactly. <laughs> oh, and then Daniel Norris is Volkswagen van. That's cool. It's a keeper. It is. I mean, that's the thing. I, I like cars no matter what, whether they're Range Rovers or old VW buses, man. That's that's really cool. I mean, that's a good classic you know those are timeless man those that's uh, pretty sweet and it's crazy to think that all the cars that we just looked at this one is, is probably the most useful or you could do the most things that's with it true. just because of everything and all the space in the back that's I mean, true he, he cooks in there uh obviously you could sleep in there nobody could sleep in their porch unless they're sleeping yeah. in the front seat of the trunk yeah and i don't i don't think you'd want to <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> final one jose reyes is jeep wrangler nice another thing that you don't see every day right orange, bright yeah orange. bright orange you got the the big wheels. I'm not really sure how well they do off-roading, but uh, you know, like, Wranglers are cool, man. Like I said, they they're, they're fun because you can pimp those out pretty easily, and everybody's got their own little flair with it. The orange on orange is a bold bold look, so you gotta give it to them, man. I, I like it. Post playing career, would you get involved in the car industry? I don't know, man. It'd be tough. It's a you know, it's a uh, there's so many people that do it, um, but uh, it'd be something I'd like to do. Obviously, uh, any sort of design stuff I, I think is is really into me. I, you know. I design shoes that I think would be kind of cool, like cleats. I think that'd be a good thing for me because I feel like I got a little insight on that. Whereas cars, there's a lot more people that know more about cars than I do. So that's probably where I'll go with maybe, hopefully designing cleats. You have some insight on the broadcast industry with your father being a uh, sportscaster. Would you ever take that route? Maybe, you know, it might be something I do. Um, you know, one, he always just told me that if I ever wanted to do that, just do baseball, you know, <laughs> you just play. and. You know, he knew that it's something, as long as you know how to talk to people and you know, handle yourself in front of a camera, then you can go from baseball to doing that. And, yeah, it's something that might interest me. I don't know, hopefully I don't have to think about that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> so he goes by Mark Patrick. Yes. You have a relative, Hannah Storm, yep. who's also a store in. Yep. So both of them don't have that last same yeah. name. But uh, <laughs> it's nice that you have that on the back of your jersey. That's right, that's right. <laughs> it's a little different, they don't have to worry. You know, it's a little easier uh, when you can read it and, you know, I guess what, the first time my dad did a, was on TV, the, the guy's like, you know, what's your last name? He's like, Storm. He's like, I have, what's your middle name? It's like, Patrick, use that. Okay, great. <laughs> you know, so yeah, it's a little different, but, uh, you know, I, I wish my last name was Storm. That's, that'd be kind of cool, you know? Yeah, it's, Storm as a closer? Yeah, that'd be kind of cool, but, uh, you know. I'm sure a lot of right. fans have come up with uh, some pretty cool posters. Exactly. If, uh, if that so, was the case. It's right. So it's all right. We can still, you can still pun it a little bit with Storm, so it still works. So. Awesome. Well, good luck. Thanks, man. <laughs>